Hello again. It's afternoon here. I have a little more time. I've done some errands and cleaning. I have a little bit more cleaning, but there's always cleaning, it seems like. But I've been watching a few videos the past week, and I had a few thoughts recently, and I've had some thoughts prior. I'm trying not to go all over the place. I'm mainly going to be talking about the Watts case. I am eventually going to talk about my situation. A lot of it reminds me of the situation. That's why I'm correlating it together. But I just recently want to talk about the video I saw of Shanann Watts coming home. First, I think it's weird that we're getting that video now. I believe it's because she's been trashed talked about being drunk when we all know she wasn't. Second, I think it's weird because she has on a different shirt than what she wore just a little bit prior to going to that restaurant because their plane was delayed. I feel like her and Chris changed shirts a lot in this case, which was odd. The neighbor Nate always had the same shirt on, so I don't know. Maybe it's just something to do with them. Maybe it's a clue to give us that they both were the same about their appearance and ways. So really, blaming Shanann again is pointless. But I also watched a video where it looks like she is concerned and looks at her phone. And it does look like one of the girls. I thought that same thing when I looked at this video. I really don't see so much that shadow but then again it kind of does seem like someone could have been at the door i believe the girls were killed prior to her coming home and the plane delayed it there's a couple of reasons why i believe that i believe that one because it would be easier for him to get rid of them before she came home yes that would mean she would find out or have a chance to think that they were dead or find out or whatever and maybe that's what she saw on the phone that they looked passed out and maybe she thought it was because of their allergies or their sickness or whatever that's why she kind of looked concerned I know she changed so I'm not sure if she got ambushed right away and he changed her to make it look like that or if she actually changed but it there's so many speculations in this case, but I do think the solid things about him killing them prior is because it would have been easier, number one. Number two, in one of the interrogation videos of Nicole Kissinger, the mistress, she said that he had the TV on late at night. <coughs> no, or not late, like 7.30 or something or 8. I don't remember exact time, but she thought it was weird because... They usually did not make a lot of noise at night, which that's another clue to tell you that she knew a lot more about the family and about what went on there and stayed there and was probably there. That's just kind of all adds up. It's like a fraudulent slip. Another fraudulent slip she does is where she says about him grilling chicken. And then she tries to like change the time or something or not sure when that happened. But the weirdest thing is he talks about grilling chicken the night of the murders or after he already killed the girls because the neighbors only saw him grilling chicken and he had four pieces of grilled chicken. And I really doubt that he ate all four pieces. Usually, if you have four pieces, probably given like t having another person there and you're both having two pieces each. So that, to me, seems kind of telltale it's a telltale sign so we talked about the chicken and we talked about the TV also I believe that maybe Shanann did change and go up to check on them and that's when she got ambushed or maybe she was asleep that whole thing is so questionable that Sometimes I do wish there was a trial. At the time, I didn't want a trial to happen because I didn't want her family to go through any more heartache or anything, and I knew that he did it. But I really do believe he had an accomplice. Oh, the other telltale sign of someone being there 
is when he says that there's no cameras in the back. Well, obviously, that's probably where the accomplice came in and went out because there's no cameras in the back. He told us. For what reason? What reason did he tell us? And the other thing it seems like a fraudulent slip, finally it's coming back to my mind, is to do with when her last video when she's coming up to the door and she has the phone and she's looking at the monitor from her phone and it's blue and you can see that. Well, remember he says he looked at the monitor and it was blue? And he saw Bella, or I don't remember if it was Bella Celeste, all sprawled out and blue, even though the monitor's blue, so it's kind of hard to see that. Maybe she said something about, why is the girls, or why is Bella, or why is Cece all sprawled out like that? Is everything okay? Or I don't know. I know I'm speculating, but a lot of things he said, I think, happened, but not the way he said happened, or he's giving away clues. It's not very bright. It's not very social. He's socially awkward. And I think he gave away a lot of... Sorry. A lot of things. He just gave them away. And even kind of so did the mistress. Because she talks about getting an apartment by the girls' schools, not meeting the girls, but yet seeing things about the girls and seeing their books and library in their room it just all doesn't it just all doesn't make sense it doesn't all add up and it's just a couple other bizarre twists coincidences i don't really believe in coincidences especially this many that are involved in this case